If you say to somebody, I have COPD, they look at you blankly. They haven't a clue what you're talking about. But if you say you have emphysema, they know immediately what you have. So, but I mean, so this is why we're going to have the Awareness Week and try and make people more aware of what's wrong with us. Did you know much about it when you were first diagnosed? Or did you I hadn't had a clue. We didn't know what it was. I was just told it was from smoking and it affected the lungs. And it was only when I went to the, the, the class down in St. Michael's that I learned, learned about it, you know. And then there was the COPD then, because um, nine out of ten people you talk to don't know what COPD is. They've never heard of it. Because it's, involved, it's more than emphysema, I think. There's uh, asthma and a few different things involved in it. Like COPD is a, an umbrella term for people with asthma and chronic bronchitis and all breathing, any breathing, the, what would you say, not diseases, but anything that affects the breathing, the COPD is an umbrella term for that. So, I mean, there are lots of people out there that have COPD and they don't even realise it. You know, they could be in the very early stages of it, but the sooner, you know, the sooner they would be tested for it, the better it would be sooner rather than later. And for anybody who is diagnosed now with COPD, again, I was never actually told I had CP COPD. Not until I really went to Michael's, which was, this happened on the 23rd of July. I arrived at Michael's on the 2nd, so it had been 2nd of November. So it had been a week into that, so July. So it was nearly three or four months before I was actually told I had COPD. And prior to that, I never knew what COPD was. And I never took any notice of anybody who was on oxygen. It was just somebody who was, had a tube up their nose and that was it. And a lot of people, when they get older, they think if they're losing their breath, they think it's because of their age. And actually it might not be, they might have COPD. I mean, there are 440,000 people in this country that have been diagnosed with COPD. I mean, that is an awful lot of people. And to think like there are thousands more out there that don't even know what COPD means. Which I think it's time now people woke up and realised what's going on around them.